Good morning, everybody. Welcome in to the Hoop Hogs video mailbag. I am Curtis Wilgerson with Inside Arkansas and the Pod at the Palace coming to you with our daily Arkansas basketball Q&A. We're getting closer and closer to the season. That scrimmage, that big exhibition against Kansas, first of all, it's officially sold out. According to John Calipari, that comes as absolutely zero surprise, but that's less than a month away, man. It's right around the corner. So uh, excited about that. Practices are underway. Uh, the smell of basketball is in the air in Fayetteville, if you will. Uh, we still got a ton of questions about this basketball team, and that's a good thing because we're trying to uh, to get all the way through to the start of the season with one of these per day. So let's get our question up here. It comes from our man, Kyler Caraway. He says, who will be the favorite, the fan favorite of this team? Will it be a star player like Nellie Davis or someone surprising coming off the bench to be electric. I, I like this. I like this question a lot. It's always fun to think about uh, because it's uh, a lot of times at Arkansas, it's an in-state guy, right? Um, you know, it was, it was Devo for a minute there. Obviously Moses, when he was around, uh, fans loved them. Some laden blocker uh, last year, Who? but who was the, I mean, who was the fan favorite last year when blocker was playing? Uh, definitely got those vibes with him. Um, you know, everybody loved team Mark, but that's kind of to your point, uh, maybe the the star player kind of aspect of it there. Like I, I think fans are going to love Nellie Davis because he's an absolute baller. Um, but who really, you know, kind of captures the hearts uh, of the fan base, I wonder. Uh, yeah, you know, like thinking back to last year, uh, Caleb Battle, when he got on that crazy scoring run, and people love that. And there you go when you talk about electricity and bringing that kind of stuff to the game. He uh, he was definitely that guy. I, you talk about somebody coming off the bench or whatever, uh, Keon Minifield for a minute, like when he got eligible and uh, and really got off to a hot start. Well, people loved him too, but it wound up just not being a very good team. And, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> it kind of is what it is. Uh, but to your question for this year, it's interesting because you look at the roster, uh, the only – Arkansas kid on the roster this season is Lawson Blake and, and he's he's hurt. He's got the torn Achilles, which I hate that for him. Um and so you're not really going to be able to see him. And you know, he wouldn't he wouldn't have played a ton anyway. Um yeah, I, I mean I like the idea of Nellie Davis for sure. I think he's because let me tell you, uh in watching him play, and I watch him play a lot because they were always on uh, I guess CBS sports when he was at FAU and I, I could see them play. I felt like a lot on Sunday afternoons or whatever. Or maybe I was doing some work from Arkansas Saturday game and I had him on the background. When that dude gets going, he's got that takeover a game type of ability. Uh, and he just gets tunnel vision. It's almost like he's unconscious and he's feeling himself uh, really, really good. And, and fans are going to love that when he gets on one of his scoring sprees, he's uh he's fun to watch. Um, but I tell you, Boogie Fland is one that I've really got my eye on. There's, there's just, there's something about Boogie. First of all, his name, right? Everybody's gonna love that. That's, that's Arkansas fans. Um, as soon as he committed, you know, all of the puns were there with, uh, with Boogie. So uh, they're gonna be excited about that. But he's just got, there's something about him. You know, people talk about aura all the time nowadays. Uh, but he's got it. You know, a little bit of swag to him. Uh, he's a New York kid high confidence, and, and he's got some of that electric factor to his game, too. I mean, if you just watch uh, some of the highlights from practices, he's been heavily involved. Uh, he's going to be a guy who's got the ball in his hands a lot. He's going to knock down threes, which people are going to appreciate. Uh, he's really, really crafty off the dribble. So he'll be a guy who, you know, make a crossover, make a move off the bounce, and, you know, he could probably make a guy stumble or blow by him or drop him or whatever, and that'll get the oohs and ahs from the fans. Um, and he's now he's not a little guy. I mean, he's he's six to 180 pounds, but a smaller guard, small ish guard. Uh, and people love that when they see a quick little dude like that having success. Uh, and he's opportunistic. He'll be a guy who will like sneak in a passing lane and get a steal uh, and go on the other end for a layup or dive on the on the floor for a loose ball. Uh, and I think he's going to be a guy who really plays into the crowd also. And that's a big part of being a fan favorite, right? Because that's something Caleb Battle did. Uh, where he'd really get the crowd going. He had the little uh, the, the the New Jersey shimmy that he'd do after hitting a big three. Um, I could see Boogie Flan kind of being a guy like that. So he would probably be my number one target in terms of, of who's going to emerge as that fan favorite. Nelly, obviously. Um, let me look at, at the rest of the roster here. Oh, Big Z. Yeah, Big Z is going to be one too. Uh, he's so easy to like. Uh, just a, a big infectious smile. Uh, huge personality. Teammates love him. I know the fans are going to love him. 
Uh, and he's huge. Like you can't miss him anywhere he goes. He's going to be spotted. So people are going to see him and you know, it's, it's, uh, you can't mistake him for anyone else. Like show me another seven foot, two, 250 pound man walking around in Fayetteville. Right. Uh, so you see that dude, you're going to know who it is. So I think a lot of fans are going to see that go up to see him, probably some kiddos trying to get autographs and stuff. Even if he's just out at slim chickens or something, trying to get a bite. So um, he will be one. I think people are going to really appreciate the way that he plays too, because uh, what gets fans going donks. Well, he's going to do that because they're going to be lobbing it up to the big fella. Uh, big men who knock down threes, people love that. It gets them going uh, and blocking shots. So you're going to see a lot of that too. Uh, so he's kind of got the uh, the ingredients from a personality and the things that he's good at as a basketball player uh, that really stand out there as well. So yeah, we'll we'll go in that order for a top three. I think Boogie, uh, Big Z, and Nelly would be the guys there. Um, this this looks like it's got the makings of being a fun team. I think they're going to play fast. Uh, some guys who can really play above the rim should be a should be an exciting and entertaining bunch. So uh, appreciate that question. That was a fun one, and and it's going to be you'll know right away uh, because it, it's just it's easy to tell. Now in that Kansas exhibition, people are just going to be going nuts anyway. Uh, but it's really in those early you know those November games when they're kind of playing a mid major and it's whatever. Uh, who really brings the pop to Bud Walton Arena? Uh, when that's going down or who has the first big moment of, of the regular season when people can see, even if you're not in the building, you can see them on TV, right? Like who's going to go to uh, Dallas and, and, you know, blow up and have a huge game against Baylor uh, because people are going to remember that when the Arkansas comes back home, then so that's something else to keep an eye on. But uh, at any rate, good question, Kyler. I, I like that one, man. That was good. Uh, and, and folks keep bringing them on. We still got a bunch more to get to, but and, and I keep saying, like, hey, we want to do one of these every day up until the start of the, the college basketball season. Um, I'll do them. I'll do one every day for the rest of my life. If you guys keep asking them. So <laughs> keep throwing them out there. Uh, you can find um, on my Twitter X profile at Kurt Wilkerson underscore. I got a thread that's pinned at the top, the Hoop Hogs video mailbag. Uh, keep throwing your questions in there. I've been making the rounds through the YouTube comments on the uh, these other videos um, and, and taking log of those. And I've been hitting those lately. I've had some folks hit me in the in the DMs over on Twitter. That's fine too. Um, and don't worry, like if, if you feel like, oh, he's probably been asked that question or whatever. Well, first of all, why haven't you watched the other 42 videos? That's what I want to know. I mean, come on now. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, that's okay because we've we've had some repeat questions and we still answer them, but we also try to find a way to uh, to attack it from a different angle, maybe more thought provoking way uh, to look at these things. And we also have like our rapid fire mailbags where we might do three or four of these a day that are uh, quicker, a little bit more fun and, and maybe things that we touch on for a second or third time. That's all good. So uh, don't hesitate to throw it out there. I really appreciate it. All the engagement and interaction. This has been a lot of fun and uh, makes me feel good when I have people reach out to me and say, man, I, I listen to this every morning when I have my cup of coffee. Uh, good. Cause that's exactly what I was hoping would happen from this. So very, very cool. Uh, and very, very thankful for that. But I'm going to get out of here. We'll be back in the morning. Uh, make sure you get subscribed to our YouTube channel, Inside Arkansas. Follow along the playlist, the Hoop Hogs video mailbag. It's been Curtis Wilkerson with the pod at the Palace. We'll see you again bright and early tomorrow. Everybody have a good one.